This is Bumper to Bumper TV. What is the potential for this group of children? Is there a lawyer, doctor, artist, or possibly an automotive product planner in their midst? They're finding out as a result of being enrolled at a Boys and Girls Club program in Southern California. Normally when we think of the Boys and Girls Club activities, we think of a great place for kids to be after school, a place to learn and to learn some crafts. But how about learning how to build a vehicle? That became a reality when Hyundai partnered with the agency to show the basics behind building a modern hydrogen-powered car. There was a full-sized version of what that technology looks like on display just to get them thinking about what skills are necessary to make it happen. You know, an opportunity to build a vehicle from scratch, see how it works, and then race it against your uh, comrades is uh, something these kids will remember for a long time. Do you see any of these young folks uh, looking at this as a possible career opportunity? Yeah, you know, over the last few years, we've really focused with Hyundai support on STEM. And in our annual surveys, we're seeing our kids interested in a STEM career grow year over year by four to 10 percentage points. So what happens when the club members are given a bag loaded with the parts needed to assemble a miniature hydrogen powered vehicle. With a step-by-step -step instruction from engineers, the process begins. Make sure the chassis is on your left-hand side. When you do that, this gear on your motor actually fits in. So cool. What's next? And what did they learn from the experience? How hydrogen powers cars. And, and it is uh, better for the environment than squirting it, and then you can put the gas sprayers. Okay. And if electricity runs out, at least we have hydrogen. While the club members were supposed to be doing the assembly process, Hyundai staff found themselves deeply involved and enjoying the experience of sharing. Two, one. Last off. I think it, introducing the youth to uh, a project like this where they can kind of get their hands on on tools that they may have never seen before. Some of them don't even, haven't even used screws or screwdrivers, things like that. So getting kids accustomed with using their hands, building something from scratch, I think is super important in educating our young minds as they progress towards, you know, their, their later career paths. That may be a long-term goal for the children participating in this project. An immediate reward, however, was having their finished vehicles compete on a racetrack of sorts. Okay, so some of the miniature hydrogen-powered cars went their own way, but the experience may be directing the children on the unexpected paths to the future. I'm Greg Morrison.